Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today's video, we are going to break down Awakened Yumi Na. But before that, if you want an updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so we have here Awakened Type Fenrir Yumi Na. She actually just got you know, released um, in Southeast Asian server a couple of days ago. And uh, more or less, we're trying to discuss um, strategies on how to use her and also suggest a couple of builds for her. Okay, so let's start off with her profile. So her profile, she is actually again SSR, Awakened type. She is actually a ground type and she has ground attack. Okay, so for her stats, in terms of combat power, she is 10,323. HP is nearly 50,000, which is above average. Attack is actually high at 7,138. Defense is also above average at 784. Crit is actually low at 329. Hit and evasion is actually below average. Hit is at 641 and evasion is at 667. So let's take a look at her skill. So basic skill, basic attack. So it's an AOE VAD hits two, produces Wolf's Bane from, from her gun and swings it, inflicting AOE damage in front. Level two, three, four, and five, basic attack damage will be a total of plus 20. Then for her passive skill, which I'm going to explain in depth. So Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Fangs, valid hits is two. When deployed, charges forward and inflicts uh, AOE damage. Then additional the attacks targets in a six meter radius. Um, after every third basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack. In Gauntlet, inflicts additional damage by 15% of her current HP on non ship targets with valid hits. So, more or less, her passive here is built for PvE, uh, sorry, for, for, for PvP, particularly in the Gauntlet. And it actually can be triggered more, the, the, the passive, after every third basic attack if you have increased attack speed. So which brings us to her level three, four, 2, 3, 4. Attack speed can be increased to a maximum of 20. You could also actually increase this through her gears. Let's talk about that later. So level 5, immune to hit stun from special or lower skills for 6 seconds and passive adds attack speed of plus 30 for six seconds which is actually pretty crazy next is her special skill so sword blaster 18 seconds valid hits three charges at a target and swings her sword inflicting aoe damage on surrounding enemies then she fires a blaster upward inflicting additional aoe damage so she actually tosses them to the air Level 3 and 4, damage increased a max of 25%. Level 5 would be cooldown minus 4 seconds, which takes it to 14 seconds only. Special skill also counts. So this actually, I think, counts to her passive skill. And lastly, is her ultimate skill, Wolf's, Wolf's Bane Legacy. So it's a 52 second cooldown. Valid hits is actually 4 maximizes wolf's bane power and inflicts aoe damage in front i've seen this this actually inflicts a lot of aoe damage levels two three and four damage is a total of 25 and her level five upgrade is a passive decrease passive decreases ultimate skill cooldown by uh three seconds so more or less it goes down to 49 seconds Okay, so I have my Yumina uh, built with all attacks. So I have here attack set for the front, uh, sorry, for your your weapon, your armor, and your accessories. Other, um, I think, suggestions for what you call this, for her would be attack speed. So if you can see here, I'm going to replace it with attack speed. Again, she will also be good with attack speed. For attack speed... If you want her to deal um, consistent damage while she's in the in, in the battlefield, this is the way to go. But if you're going to go with uh, all attack um, uh, set options, 
more or less she's going to be like a bomb setting off um a huge aoe especially upon deployment i've seen how devastating she can do to the back line and actually with her playstyle, i'll discuss later why all attack is actually recommended versus her um, increased attack speed okay so again just to recap um set options would be attack attack speed both and more or less for the gear options you can actually add to her damage reduction of any kind hp increase for more survivability and also attack for additional attack of course okay so the key for awaken yumina is not really to um not really to deploy her early more or less what you do with her is you wait up you wait until your enemies are in the mid or are near base because again she is a she's a unit that swings momentum so what she does is let's let's summon some ground units here ground units and just turn on the ai so what she does is let's say for example this is this is already um this is already in front or in the mid part of your base and you have here and you have units in the back so once you deploy her here she actually goes through the enemy because she she throws them on top so what she does is um if you have the if the enemy has defenders in front she throws them and goes through and deals damage to the back so again she deals a lot of damage to the back line that is why um my suggested um uh, what do you call this my suggested build is all attack because she's like a grenade she's a she's a momentum shifter um but because if you for example put her um early and you put her behind a defender she won't last that long so she has to do quick and big damage right the, uh, right out of the gate upon her deployment destroying the back line and which actually swings the momentum in your favor even if she dies she has already taken out a couple of um units in the back in which more or less you can really live uh, live with if she's going to die so again that is her you know a a good strategy to 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 win with her um she is a really a surprise attacker um get your get your enemies uh off guard deploy her in the middle or deploy her near your base uh once they come in because again she she will decimate the hero the your your enemy's backline um if you're going to deploy her head on um she's going to be squishy uh even though she has high hp even though she has uh, sorry she has uh, above average hp and defense she is not really that you know survivable she has he has below average evasion as well so that is why you should more or less treat her as a human hand grenade and try to blow off the back line of your enemies okay so as for my final thoughts for awakened you mina um a lot of people have been criticizing her as a not really good for the long term which in a way i i kind of agree but um right now if you want to play in southeast asian server she's going to you know she's going to be really really good um if in the korean server in taiwan server she has not been used because there are a lot of units already that that came out which is which are better than her i think um in terms of in terms of for example units you summon for units try to enjoy these units try to enjoy playing playing them um i try not to tend to worry about what happens in the next few months try to enjoy playing with this unit right now because again um if we always you know if we always just save up for a lot of things in the future we might not enjoy the present so that's my thought on her or, or my thoughts on her um i'd rather use her now build her now but again i'm also ca uh, cautious i won't be building her beyond level 102 so more or less again she would be good right now right now as in this very instant if you use her especially in pvp 
um down the line when other units are being out i do not know uh probably she'll be out of the meta but again right now she is a blast to use i was actually uh, happy using her together with awakened hilde um and more or less she is right now going to win battles for you and also she might be reworked in the future so um more or less just hang on to her summon for her if you really want her okay so that is more or less my final thoughts and we have uh, reached the end of this video and for those who have stayed this long please consider subscribing hit that bell icon and also please put a like to this video if you find this helpful also guys please put your comments below what are your you know what are your thoughts on awaken you mina will you pull for her will you use her um do you think that she'll be trash in the future put them down in the comment section below take care guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here